everyone. Today I've got your All is Lost movie review. This is a movie that stars Robert Redford in what appears to be uh, a really different version of Castaway, in which his character is off at sea all by himself, and he is just trying to do whatever it takes to survive. I was really looking forward to seeing this movie. I would have to say that I am still a huge fan of Robert Redford. I think uh, the fact that he's still making movies at the age that he is now is pretty phenomenal. Um, I think he still looks pretty good. But as far as his acting goes, I think it's pretty awesome as well. Um, and especially since it was award-worthy uh, for this movie. It's definitely no surprise that I really wanted to see this movie. I just heard so many good things about it, so it was even more building up my anticipation. I saw this movie and I actually really enjoyed it. I found it to be pretty gripping and suspenseful, um, mainly because um, there literally was hardly um, a soundtrack for this film and all you basically um, keep your focus on is the acting and the intense uh, scenes where his character is at sea and he's trying to keep his bow together and trying to keep it from uh, filling up with water all the time and he's just surviving um, and doing whatever it takes and just holding on for dear life. I mean, I thought like those moments were pretty intense. I actually like that uh, movies like this um, do not have a soundtrack. So I thought, yeah, that was pretty cool. There were times when I always could think about um, whenever I would watch Castaway and obviously what Tom Hanks did with that, um, and there was more dialogue in that movie than in this movie, and I mean it almost it seems kind of like sad because I mean obviously uh, you would think like he would start to sort of lose his mind if he's um, you know running out of water but he actually is doing pretty well um, he's you know finding ways to uh, you know keep you know hydrated and eating uh, things out of a can so I mean it, it gets pretty uh, serious and scary almost because you're thinking like, wow, like what could I do uh, to survive and still stay as calm as he was? Because if it were me, I would be just like freaking out, like seriously, like no lie. I would probably be just absolutely hysterical, just panicking the whole time. The uh, special effects were pretty scary. I just... Uh, would not I'd be so scared to go out in the ocean by myself even if I was at that age like I mean you never know experienced or not anything can happen I'd say the cinema uh, some of the good parts of this movie was the cinematography I was really impressed by that as well as the editing so there's really not much um, that I could really say bad about this movie. It does drag on a little bit and I feel like you would get bored at times because all you're doing is watching this guy, he doesn't really say much and you're just watching like his actions and everything that he's doing um, but it's like almost a two hour long movie and he's doing this and I would have thought it would be shorter um, but you're just like watching this the whole time and there are segments where you're seeing like things that happened before the boat trip so um, I thought that was a really nice touch instead of just going like straight into the action straight into um, him at sea showing these like flashbacks and stuff. I thought that overall this was a pretty decent movie. I would definitely recommend seeing this whether or not you're a fan of Robert Redford, I think he, he's definitely one of the best actors around still. And I thought that this was quite a risk to make a movie like this. Um, and compared to like his older films that he's done in the past. So I thought that this was a pretty uh, nice move on his part. If you have seen All is Lost, let me know in the comments what you guys thought about it. And what did you think of Robert Redford's performance? Um, and what would you do to survive at sea? As always, you guys can subscribe to my channel. I've got more movie reviews, movie updates. Come back every week for a chill Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. 
and I will see you guys later.